In this video, I'm going to show you all the adjustment capabilities of the Duotone Trust Bar. The Duotone Trust Bar features some of the most useful and quick adjustment settings of any bar on the market. Firstly, let's have a look at how you simply and quickly adjust the length of the back lines at the bar. To do this, you pop off the plastic part on the very end of the bar that your lines wind around. Simply push the black plastic toggle at the top of the plastic part and pop it off the end of the bar. This will reveal the internal extra line adjustment, which comes with three different adjustment knots, all clearly marked with different colors. Whenever you adjust your lines, you want to make sure that both sides of the bar are on the same color adjustment trim. This will ensure that your steering lines are the same length and there'll be no discrepancies at the kite. To adjust the lines, you simply pull out the line from the end of the bar, pull down to unfasten the internal knot, pull it out from its fastening mechanism on the inside of the bar, and then slide the line to your desired adjustment knot, either shortening or lengthening the back line. Then you'll need to pull on the outside line above the floater to make sure it's fitted correctly. Once you've adjusted it to your preferred back line length, you then push the remaining line back into the end of the bar and refasten the plastic cover. Then repeat this procedure on the other side of the bar, making sure you have both back lines set to the same color trim knot so there are no discrepancies in the kite steering. So the second adjustment I'm gonna show you is the simple and quick way to adjust the length of your bar whilst at the beach. It's actually possible to change the length of the bar by a total of around four inches just by simply removing the EVA floater by pressing the two buttons on either side of the bar, popping off the EVA floater, rotating it 180 degrees and reinserting it back into the bar. You can clearly see how it adjusts the length of the bar by looking at the space on either side of the EVA floater. The inside position of the EVA floater makes the bar shorter and the outside position of the EVA floater makes the bar longer. By shortening the bar, you make the kite less responsive and this is favored to wake star riders and people that tend to ride unhooked with the Duotone Trust Bar. By having your back lines on the outside setting at the bar, you're lengthening the bar and thus making the kite more responsive and faster steering. This is favored by wave riders or riders that want a little bit more responsive output from their kite. Make sure you check that both sides of the bar are on the same setting so that you have even control over the kite. Right, so the next adjustment setting on the Duotone Trust Bar is how to quickly and easily change the length of the D-Power throw on the center lines. This is really useful if you're a smaller rider or you want to change the bar so you don't have as much D-Power throw immediately available. This setting is designed so you can customize your D-Power throw to make it a more comfortable ride for your preference as a rider. To do this, you simply go up to the cleat in the center line and unfasten the line that you can see on the opposite side to the D-Power strap. And if you want to shorten your center line D-Power throw, you pull it out and then take up the slack of that line above the cleat. You'll see that this will unbalance the length of the lines below the cleat and in order to set them both back to the same length you have to apply some pressure through the center line. Simply stand on your bar and pull your center line and it will even up the length of the lines below the cleat. Finally I'm going to explain a little bit about the suicide and standard safety modes that are offered by the Ironheart system. The standard safety mode means that the metal buckle on the end of your center quick release line is free from your chicken loop. This means if you let go of your bar at any point, then the kite will fully depower. This is the safest and standard setting for most riders. If you're at an advanced level and you want to get in some unhooked tricks where you may let go of the bar and rely on your suicide leash, you want to set the Ironheart safety system to suicide mode. To do this, you simply take the metal ring on the end of your safety line, pull your Ironheart quick release so that your chicken loop is detached, thread the metal loop, making sure that the curvature in the loop is facing downwards over the end of the metal ring on the end of your chicken loop, and then reinsert the end of the chicken loop back into the reverse release pin on the Ironheart system. It should look like this once you've completed it. So there you go. 
a brief overview of some of the settings on the Duotone Trust Bar.